Hey Sand Freaks, welcome. Today I am going to share with you my reviews on some Latafa fragrances that I bought recently. So I bought four Latafa fragrances. Uh, it was recommended to me like a hundred times. You've got to try Latafa from friends, family, and some of you kind subscribers. So I went ahead and I purchased some that I thought I liked the scent note listings of all the ones that are supposed to be the better ones and i've been playing with them now for a few weeks probably about three or four weeks now trying to really work out what i like about them if there's anything i don't like and would i recommend them don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications if you love all things fragrance the first type of fragrance that i got was none other than camera i was told that this one was the one to get that it's actually quite difficult to get so I ended up getting it as a pre-sale item, um, which I'm stoked about. It's supposed to smell like Angel Share by Killian, which is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. So I thought, hey, it's a win-win. So I've sprayed the sand strip, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys, this was incredible smelling for the first time. Being an Angel Share fan by Killian, I mean, it was a no-brainer. I was gonna love this fragrance. It definitely has remarkable similarity to angel share um, i would say though that this one is definitely a more drunken boozy version of angel share for sure there is a very very strong like rum or cognac note in this that really does smell very very drunken with that beautiful spicy cinnamon note and gourmand facets it's just gorgeous when I smelt camera for the first time, it immediately took my mind to like fudgy, gooey dates being cooked with like honey, cinnamon, rum syrup, and then reduced down to this dense, thick, indulgent, sticky, boozy dessert. That's exactly what this fragrance smells like, or some sort of a boozy cinnamon rum cocktail. It's just absolutely delicious camera is definitely for the gourmand lover or gourmand appreciator people who enjoy sweeter fragrances thicker more dense fragrances and also for people who enjoy really drunken boozy scent notes because you can't really get more drunken and boozy than this one I would definitely repurchase camera and have it in my collection forever. And for those of you guys who are curious about this fragrance and haven't smelt it yet, get your nose on it ASAP. Chances are you're going to love it. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance I got, I don't want to butcher the name here, so I'm definitely going to put it in the description below. I will attempt to say it, but I know I'm not going to say it correctly. Anna Abia Rouge. I have no idea if I got that right or wrong. Let me know in the comments below. This one is meant to be a Baccarat 540 dupe or clone. So being a Baccarat lover, obviously I was always going to purchase this one. I suppose the question that is most prevalent here is, is it actually a dupe or clone for Baccarat? What I will say is that yes, it does definitely smell like Baccarat Rouge. However, I was a little disappointed with this one. I found it to be very alcohol based and very weak. I'm talking within a few minutes of spritzing the fragrance, at least on my skin, it just disappeared. Um, not even a skin scent. I don't purchase Baccarat Rouge anymore due to its reformulation and poor performance. And funnily enough, this one reminds me more of the reformulated one I don't like and not the original Baccarat. So unfortunately, I would not repurchase this one. The next Latafa fragrance I purchased was Assad, and this one was a positive for me. It really had this creamy incense kind of feel to it with almost a cologne backbone, very unique and something I hadn't smelt before. The clove and spicy notes are definitely evident in this fragrance. If you're somebody who enjoys really spicy fragrances, get your nose on this one. It is so spicy but yummy. It's just delicious. It actually almost takes my head to Christmas, you know, with those spicy uh, drinks and dessert offerings. That's kind of what it transports me to. 
I'm so happy that I got this one. It's unique, it's captivating, and I think it has a lot of versatility too. So this one I will keep in my collection for sure. Okay, guys, so the fourth and final fragrance that I purchased was Kusad Al Sultan. I know I didn't say that right. Don't worry, I'll put it in the screen below here. I don't want to butcher the names. Um, but this one was an interesting purchase for me too. I actually really liked this scent. It did lean more masculine than I had anticipated. But in saying that, I find masculine fragrances on females very sexy. I find it quite empowering as well. So I will definitely continue to use this fragrance. I don't know if I'll repurchase it at this time anyway, but I will give some more time with it, see how I feel about it when I put it on. But the scent itself is really quite beautiful. Really the superstars of the fragrance are the dry spices, cardamom, vetiver, and those fruity notes. That's really what this fragrance is all about. As I mentioned before, it does have a little bit of that male cologne vibe happening with it, but I think it's really nice. I think definitely on a guy for sure, and it would depend on, you know, your personal taste as a female, if you are comfortable wearing, you know, fragrances that are a little bit more masculine, but it's never stopped me before. If you're somebody who enjoys tobacco board fragrances where the tobacco isn't, you know, leaps and bounds ahead of all the other scent notes it's not screeching out at you it's just really well blended with the fruity notes and the spicy notes definitely get your nose on this one i think you would enjoy it i would imagine that this one would be a lady killer for sure okay same freak so that is the video this is my first exposure to la Tuffa, and i've got to say i'm actually really happy with the result there were you know there was one here where I was quite disappointed with the performance. Um, it definitely did have similarities to Baccarat. It smelled like Baccarat, but it was so weak that I really couldn't enjoy it either way. However, in saying that, I was very pleasantly surprised by the other three fragrances I received, and I definitely will be exploring the house further. Do you guys have any experiences with Latafa? Post it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much then, freaks. I love and appreciate you all, and I hope to see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.